Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is stuck on black screen. So if you're facing black screen issue, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to use no legal in launch options. So over here uh, in Steam, make a right click on the game and then select properties in the launch option over here, type in dash no legal. So once you type in dash no legal over here, that is dash no legal now you can close this now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can use alt plus enter on the keyboard so when you press alt plus enter it will switch to window mode and then you can check still you're facing the problem next step is to use no legal in steam launch option which we have already used so make a right click properties type in dash no legal now once you type in now you can launch the game and the, then press the arrow on the keyboard randomly until a glitched version of menu appears so launch the game and once uh, you use the uh, like you, you press the arrow keys randomly to when once you are in the menu screen now go to extras and then eula and scroll down so you can use the right or left arrow key to go to extras now once you go to the extras and then over here you can see eula you can hit the enter key once you select eula and then you can scroll down and then at the end uh, you can hit the enter to accept in my case i have already accepted so there is no option but if you see the accept option, hit the enter key and that should help you. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now this has also worked for a few players. So make a right click, select properties. And here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off. Now launch the game and then check. Also close other overlay applications. So if you have other overlay applications such as Discord, G, Force Experience or any other overlay application, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to disable full screen optimization. This has also worked for many players. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to this tab. And then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations, and then click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Next step is to now for few players, deck controls were assigned to controller 2. So you can use option reorder controllers and then check. Now the next step is to change scaling or resolution in Windows settings. If still you're facing the problem, you can open Windows settings, system, display, and you can try to change the scaling to 100% or 150. Try which one is working fine for you and or maybe 125. And then you can even change the resolution for from here you can change the resolution and then launch the game and then check so check which one is one of the steps should help you so check which one is working fine for you now still you're facing black screen then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your game so if the game is running close it and then restart the game if that does not work restart your computer do not ignore this step it's simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game next step is to use no legal dash no legal in launch option so make a right click on the game and then select properties in the launch option type in dash no legal without any space now launch the game and then check next step is to disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and over here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game so if this is on turn it off and then launch the game and then check it also if you have other overlay application running such as discord g force experience so close all other overlay application and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now make a double click over here try launching the game from here if that does not work make a right click select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization so put a check over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work next step is to go to properties once again and this time 
put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again make a right click select properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 apply ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work then this time select windows 7 put a check select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work you can uncheck all these boxes so if checking all the boxes doesn't help in that case you can uncheck all these boxes and follow the next step now the next step is to turn off hdr in windows display settings so go to windows display settings and if hdr is on turn it off and then check this has worked for a few players so it might work for you next step is to disable microsoft device association root emulator in device manager now for this make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager now expand software devices and over here you can see microsoft device association root enumerator you can make a right click and then click on disable device click on yes now once that is done now you can launch the game and then check now you can always enable it once if it's not working you can make a right click once again and you can enable it so you can always enable it now the next step is to but when you disable it when you disable it make sure that you restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to select prefer layered on dxgi swap chain in nvidia control panel so if you have nvidia graphics go to desktop make a right click on the desktop and then select nvidia control panel Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to manage 3D settings and then go to program settings. Now over here, click on add and then go select the game over here. So if you see the game, select the game and then click on add selected program. If you don't see the game, go to browse and then go to this PC, open C drive, this PC, C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder open the steam apps and then open the common folder and then open the game folder <coughs> oh, i'm sorry about that open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now select high performance nvidia processor over here and then scroll down here you can see vulcan open gl present method now click on the down arrow and then select pre uh, prefer layered on dxgi swap chain and then hit apply and then now you can launch the game and then check next step is to next step is to close obs now this is not working for many uh, players so it might work might not work for you so you can make a right click and then close if obs is running make sure that you close obs you can close a obs now if you want to use obs when you launch the game you can press alt plus enter on the keyboard so press alt plus enter alt plus enter press alt plus enter and then check now the next step is to use alt plus enter which i have already told you also try using no vsync in launch option so you can make a right click over here and then over here type in dash no vsync without any space and then launch the game and then check next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's geforce and then select the right product series select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search now scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52 so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box put a check on custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure 
you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart your computer restart is a must and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users will draw dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder now open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game to your antivirus program so if you have any antivirus program allow it, the game exe file if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to system uh, privacy and security and then click on windows security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security virus and threat protection scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add and allow app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder program file 686 now open the steam folder now open steam apps folder now open the common game folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings on the top allow another app browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add over here in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here you can launch the game so in my case the game is already added now you can launch the game next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done now you can launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file so go to microsoft website over here the link is provided in the video description here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download both x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case i have already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer now download x64 and then run x64 exe file <clears throat> run x64 and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and then you have to restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game restart is a must next step is to unplug external devices from the computer so if you have these devices connected disconnect it also disconnect additional controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner anything running close it also if you have any third party application running make sure that you close all the third party applications so make sure that nothing is running over here you can do, go to task manager and then close all the third party application close even your browser and then check if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer 
restart is a must after this so make sure that you restart after you install the latest update and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart a computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if the game is installed to, to another drive in that case you can try installing the game to c drive if the game is already installed in c drive then you can try to install the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel